his individual issues. But, uh, you know, LeBron and Bosh, Wade, they're never going to be, you know, the lovable underdog. But I think things have settled down there, and people have at least accepted them for who they are now. The drive by LeBron. Shot clock at five. LeBron, left shot. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. LeBron's now got the first points up on the board tonight here for the Heat. Time certainly tends to heal a lot, and there definitely has been less villainization, as you were talking about, to keep the coin a term, for the Miami Heat since they, you know, Clark signed the big three. I think people now look at it in more basketball terms than anything else. Yeah, I like the creativity of that word, Kevin, but you know what? Time is one thing, but I'll tell you something else. They should send the fruit basket to Dwight Howard for helping take some of the scrutiny off of them. There are always going to be villains in the NBA, but they come and go, and the Heat seem to have served their time, at least in my opinion. Now here's Parker. The feed to Green. Beyond the arc. The shot is off. And Miami the other way now. Earlier, Doris Burke spoke with head coach Eric Spolster. And what'd you find out, Doris? I asked him about how his team was going to handle the veterans of the Spurs, and he said there really isn't a whole lot of Duncan and them haven't seen, it. so you can't surprise them one way or another. Really, it comes down to us being as careful with the ball as they are and being efficient in our possessions. Sounds simple enough, gentlemen. All right, Doris. Here's Diaw after the made shot from Dwayne Wade. Duncan. Chris Bosh with the rebound. I like that creativity, double clutching and catch the defender on the way down. I can go for that. I can go for that. Well, you look at Chris Bosch, and last year he put together another solid season with Miami, averaged about 18 points and eight boards. Not the numbers that he had when he was in Toronto, but of course.